Hello and welcome to Potato Monsters League of Legends Top 5 Place Episode 56. My name is Parv and I invite you to take a break from whatever you're doing to enjoy some awesome plays supplied by your fellow players. Let's hop into this. At number 5 we have Lapompt on Lee Sin and he's been farming top lane when suddenly Maokai ganks from the brush and he's condemned into the wall taking some huge damage but he lines up an excellent ultimate to buy him some time as he runs towards his tower. Avoiding his death he shields at the last second to stay alive against Silver Bolt and decides to actually Q Maokai and quickly bring him down with the help of the tower. He then runs into the brush and waits as Vayne is forced to path his way picking up the turnaround double against all odds. At number 4 we have Los Lumpy on Vayne and we jump right into the heat of the battle as 4 enemy players have her completely surrounded and then Alistar dives in and she uses final hour into tumble knocking Olaf into the wall and then turning to kill Alistar. She then finishes off Olaf as Tristana jumps in but with the help of the tower she brings him really low and despite heal she grabs the triple. Then finally she turns and tags Ziggs as he tries to run out of range but falls to the tower for the 1v4 quadra kill. Coming in at third place for this week is Katsuebi on Morgana, and at the start of this play she's rushing in towards Baron knowing the enemy team almost has it. She runs in laying down Tormented Soil, ulting instantly picking up a kill as her W steals Baron, and then she grabs the quadra kill from her ultimate and then turns to pick up the Penta off Tarek. GG. At second place coming from a high elo bracket is Lopaka on Nocturne. His team has come to contest Dragon and he rushes in towards Kennen to try and help out his carry. Together they grab the kill on Alistar and then they switch to Sivir as he brings her down very quickly and actually kills LeBlanc with the same Q for the triple. He then makes his way towards the remaining enemy players bringing down Dandan for the Quadra and then flashing to catch GP for the Pentakill. What I really liked about this play is that Nocturne isn't as prevalent as he used to be and to get a Pentakill with him in such a high elo game where Pentas are scarce as it is, it definitely earns its number 2 spot. And for our number one pro play for this week, we have Nimblis playing on Kog'Maw, another high elo game with a lot of familiar faces. Right off the bat, he launched out his ultimate, picking up a kill on Ezreal, and then tosses out a second one for the double kill on the retreating Warwick. As Ari runs, he throws out a blind living artillery, forcing her to flash, and then he predicts where she must be, landing an ultimate after alt after alt for the extremely impressive triple kill using nothing but raw skill. And for a bonus clip for this week, we have Dynasis on Tristan, and she's currently fighting the enemy Trist as she exhausts and jumps him but gets knocked back. The enemy Tristana then jumps in for the killing blow, but she hits him mid-air with her ultimate, knocking Trist into Lux's laser for the kill. That was a close one. Thanks everyone for watching, and I hope everyone enjoyed this episode. Have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you back here on Tuesday.